Today, I'm going to introduce you to bookmarklets. What are bookmarklets, you ask? Well, a bookmarklet is basically a bookmark for your web browser that instead of you taking you to a web page, executes a bit of JavaScript. So to show you what I mean, let's go ahead and open up a browser. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to visit here the Suffolk Law School web page. Now, I know I could take this and I could make a bookmark. And then if I look at that bookmark and look at the properties, then I see it has you know, my name of my bookmark and then my location. Well, as we learned when working with uh, Q&A markup, you can put uh, JavaScript into a normal link on a web page. And you do the same thing here. So if I actually do basically the same syntax as we did in Q&A markup, which is JavaScript colon, and then we do something like alert, and then hello world. And I save that. Well, now this bookmark, instead of going to the location of the website, the university's, uh, the law school's website, it's going to go to, you can see actually when you hover over there, it's going to do this JavaScript alert, hello world. So any guesses what's going to happen when I click it? Ah, that's right. It executes that JavaScript. Instead of going to a location, it's just turning, it's just executing the JavaScript. So what a bookmarklet does is just provides you a way to have a little bit of JavaScript that will execute for whatever page you're on when you click the bookmark. Uh, when you click on the, the bookmark lit, right? When you click on this. So I could have taken this and I could have renamed it uh, Hello World. With less weird capitalization. But, and then when I click on it, and every time I do that, I'm going to get this Hello World. It doesn't matter what page I'm on. If I go to any old web page, Google, and I click on Hello World, then I get Hello World. Okay, so that is a bookmark let, a bookmark let. So what I want to do is I want to introduce you to a tool. Here's a bookmark let creator someone did. Uh, and what this does, is it just allows you to put in your JavaScript and you can write it over multiple lines instead of having to get it to all fit uh, as you might uh, all fit basically in that way that sort of we're used to putting it inside a, an href in a link. You can write all, any old arbitrary bit of JavaScript here and you can click on generate bookmarklet. And then what it'll do is it actually it creates what that output looks like here. And it does a nice thing. It minifies, what's it, what's what we call minify it. So it takes what might be multiple lines, although here it's just one line, it takes what might be multiple lines and it, it uh, puts it all on one, one line. And then it takes care of things like quotation marks and special characters and stuff so that you're not going to break anything. Um, and so what I've done here is when I click generate bookmarklet, it actually took the bookmark I can create it here such that I can now take it and drag it up to my bookmark bar and now when I click on that I get my new uh, bookmark behavior. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to ask that you visit this page so this bookmark that creator there's a link down below and then I'm also going to ask that you uh, copy the text for uh, the code for a bookmarklet that I've provided again down below and paste it in here and follow along. And what you'll see is here is the text uh, that I asked you to copy and paste over. It's JavaScript. And you're going to recognize this from the lesson we just had above on regular expressions. And you'll recognize that this is the regular expression we created to parse uh, citations to the US code. There's just a, a couple of differences. So this looks pretty much like what we saw above. This is a little different than the, the text we were dealing with because we were using uh, RevJax 101, the website, to do our, our, our replacement. Um, what this is doing is it's pretty much the same except the back references. The back references are preceded by, this, by dollar signs. Okay. And then there's another thing that you haven't seen before, which is this last line. But now that you all know a little JavaScript, it should be pretty easy to explain. We've got something, this, instead of being a variable, this is an object, so it's a slightly different thing. It's actually part of the web page that you're on. And it's saying, for the document, which is the web page you're on, there's something called the body. So you'll remember if, from when we made our Hello World HTML page, there was a place that was called the body. And then inside the body, we're looking for the inner HTML. So that's the HTML inside the body on this page. And so what it's saying is go ahead and take the HTML inside the body of this page and set it equal to, not evaluate whether or not it's equal, it's just a single 
equal signs, it's set it equal to, so we're saying assign to this thing, assign to this object, some value, and that value is the document's body and the HTML inside it, but we're gonna have this method here, replace. And replace takes these two inputs. It takes this regular expression and it takes this replacement string. And so if you wanna guess what's gonna happen, what this bookmark would do, and let's go ahead and call this US code. I'm gonna go ahead and generate the bookmarklet. Now I have a little bookmark that says US code, so I can take it and just drag it up to my bookmark bar. Now I have this. And now when I click on this bookmarklet, that bit of JavaScript will execute. So if I do that here, um, it didn't really do anything, so it reloaded the page, but if I do it here, uh, nothing's happening. And if I look in here, I can see now that what's inside here is it's minified that JavaScript and done this, this whole thing here where it's taken those multiple lines and made them into this nice one line here for me. But what I can do is I can go to a web page like this one here. So here's this the same case we saw up above. And you'll remember we have, here's a reference to the US code. And you'll remember that what that regular expression is supposed to do is when it runs, it should parse the US code, uh, the, the citation of the US code, and replace it with a link to that part of the US code. So let's see what happens if I click on the US code bookmarklet. <gasps> right before my eyes, a link appeared. And if I click on that link, magic. It takes me to, um, to, the, uh, to the US code. So just think of the possibilities, right? You can just take some JavaScript, um, put it in here, generate a bookmarklet, drag it up here, and then whenever you want to execute that JavaScript, you just click on the bookmarklet. And what's really amazing about that is it can act on the web page that is in your browser at the time. So as we saw um, with our code, just to remind you here, we can actually change the HTML of the page we're on. Now, obviously, that's only doing it for us locally, um, but it means that we can then supplement what we're working with. So in this way, um, here we had a page that just we, we were able to add a link based upon citations just by virtue of doing a, a little regular expression and, and running that on this web page. So you can imagine if I had a web page like this that had citations on it, but none of them linked to anything and I wanted to make my life easier, I could just build a little bookmark with it. I would go ahead and find uh, those citations and link out for me. Um, and you can find all sorts of other uh, interesting things that you could do in that way. Um, and you could also, when we talk about web scraping, you could use this as a way to do some web scraping. You could find information on a page and then you can use some JavaScript to maybe copy that to your clipboard and then you can paste that into a file. Or depending upon the browser you're in, you could have it uh, save it directly to a file, although you'd have to, to tell it yes on the, on the save. So um, all sorts of possibilities. It's just now you have the ability to interact programmatically with a web page. And so I, I think this is really sort of amazing. I just want to stop for a second. We had a web page that before had citations to something, but no links. And we just clicked this button and it magically went through and found the citations, recognized them using the regular expression and produced a link that then adds functionality and usefulness to this page that didn't exist before. And of course you can sort of take this one step further. We're not gonna go there in this class, but you could, instead of just making a bookmark, but you could make an add-in for a browser. So uh, you might in, in different browsers, you can call it add-ins or plugins. Um, and you could do that where it would do this all the time in the background, right? So you could imagine uh, doing that in a way that would make it so you didn't even have to push this button. Right? And then that would be the sort of thing, and a bookmark, bookmark that's are also the sort of thing you can share with people. Uh, because as we saw here from the bookmark but creator, um, if we generate the code, uh, it will actually just produce a bit of output that people could link to, or you could put, uh, put it in HTML, and you see all it did there was wrap it in the A tag. Um, and then you could put that somewhere, and then it would look, you know, you'd have something like this that you could drag, uh, someone could come to a web page and could drag it and bring it to their bookmark bar. So that, is a bookmarklet, and uh, you're going to use that below. Not the first bit, but in a while. Wait for it. All right, thanks. Bye.